A recent estimation puts 40% of the world's jobs at risk as a result of automation over the next 15 years. Before your anxiety levels shoot up, let me remind you that this risk is not normal. Throughout history, new technologies have replaced human jobs time and time again. The UAE government has been ahead of the curve in recognizing the changing workspace trends and as part of its efforts to consolidate its status as an international economic hub, the country has introduced numerous initiatives to better prepare industries for the fourth industrial revolution. And as part of the business sector witnessing AI-centric changes, recruitment will also take its share from this automation. Companies will now know exactly when candidates are ready for a new job and reach out to them proactively. Resumes will be screened by algorithms and candidate selection is likely to take place via automated video interviews conducted by bots. Searchy is one such company that uses AI technology that monitors 361,000 factors during a 15-minute video interview, including microfacial analysis, body language, and the interviewee's talking points to determine a candidate's suitability for a job. Well, let's find out more about it. You're watching the Arabian Business Enterprise Innovator Series in association with UPS. We're using artificial intelligence to look at personality and predict human insights at work. And what this means is instead of um, hiring people by looking at a paper, which is a CV full of buzzwords and keywords, we're focusing on people's behavior because ultimately this is really important, right? When they start with you, if someone is going to react a certain way and that's their personality, then maybe they're not right in that right role. So this is much more of a accurate way um, of finding people, I believe, for the future. If you look at a person, they will come into work, even if you've got a team of people, there's a certain amount of hours that you have in the day even the hard-working ones, right? And you'll be tired and you'll interview people differently. You may become in a bad mood, right, into work. The AI doesn't get tired. The beauty of AI is it interviews everyone in exactly the same way. And it's capable of doing hundreds of thousands of interviews. So if you look at uh, the current process, it's normally HR, gets a job description, puts it out to the market, uh, people react and, and apply and then you have hundreds of applicants applying. It could take like months to just get through the applications and to even screen people, right? The first initial phone call. With AI, you can literally um, map out the personality that you want the person to have and the skills in a matter of minutes. You then put that link into a job posting or on your website or send it out proactively to candidates. In 24 hours or 48 hours even, if it's a complicated job, this process is automated. And it's not automated by something matching and scouring the web for keywords. No, it's a live avatar, the AI, which will interview um, hundreds of applicants. It's doing the work for you. And then it says, these are the top five from everyone that we've interviewed. Now that cannot right now be replicated by human beings just because we don't work 24-7. I think the best way to get AI uh, for companies or industries to work out if AI is any good, right? I think get, get away from AI. Just think about what you want to solve, right? So if I look at education and if I look at how, how kids are being taught at the moment in school, it's like a one system process, right? If there was an education system that could tailor that and say, okay, this teacher is the most suited to these students, right? That's pretty powerful. And if education can be solved and then AI can do something in this area, right? It can, because we're going back to the same thing about human insights and p predicting behavior and personality. So that's education. In healthcare, we've already heard some great uses for AI when you look at uh, people suffering from diabetes and how to uh, prolong their eyesight, right? So I've heard of companies that are using that for amazing companies that are, that are using it for eye scanning and, and things like that. So that's giving results in minutes, otherwise would have taken weeks, um, would have taken specialist uh, doctors and so on. So it's already making waves there. And if I look at cancer and the way it can detect uh, things in health, um, and then there's also mental health, right? So there's yeah. rehabilitation and, and things like that. So I think there, there's a huge scope for AI. I think companies and organizations need to educate themselves a bit more. And this is where Search you really is going to be hosting some uh, events next year, like small breakfast briefings with specialized niche people in the market, where we're really going to just be talking about um, 
talk to us. Tell us what are your problems as a business. Tell us what are your problems as people, right? What do you want to see more of? And what would you like to achieve? What would make you more efficient? And then we can um, then educate people on where and if AI can help. 